Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one important disease in the form of a study. That is Wilson's disease. Wilson's disease can be asked as a short note. It can be asked in the form of multiple choice question or it can be asked in the form of case based discussion. In the end of the video, we will also see one interesting video related to the case of Wilson's disease. So please watch this video till the end. So let's start. So the case description is a 8 year old boy born to non consanguine parents was brought to the pediatric OPD with complaints of involuntary movements of the limb for the past 2 months. The movements were infrequent and occurred without any precipitating factor. There was no history of any antenatal complication in the mother and the child was born at full term with spontaneous cry. The milestones were achieved at appropriate age and the vaccination was complete till date. There was no history of any loss of consciousness, seizures or muscle weakness. There was no history of any skin rashes, joint pains or fever associated with the symptom. On examination, the vitals were stable. So till now, the only positive finding is involuntary movements of the limb for the past two months. A sleep lamp examination by an ophthalmologist promptly revealed the presence of both air rings and sunflower cataract. And this is the picture which is showing the air ring, and this is the picture of sunflower cataract. Her abdominal examination revealed hepatosplenomegaly, that is enlargement of liver and spleen. Neurological examination confirmed the presence of involuntary movements and disc tendon reflexes. CT scan of the brain revealed pathological changes in the basal ganglia. Blood samples were sent for the biochemical investigation and all the routine investigations were within the normal limits. The spatial test report were as follows. The serum cellulose level was 12 mg per deciliter. Serum copper is 265 microgram per deciliter and the 24 hours urinary copper is 1032 microgram per 24 hours. This was the laboratory investigation and from the laboratory investigation serum cellulose level is reduced. Serum copper and 24 hour urinary copper is increased. So the first question is what is the diagnosis and justify? So from the case description it seems the case of Wilson's disease because there is a characteristic air ring as well as a sunflower cataract, there is an involuntary movements, there is a hepatosplenomegaly and the laboratory investigation so increased level of copper and increased excretion of copper in the urine and there is a reduction of cereuloplasmin. So it is the case of Wilson's disease. Second question is what is the underlying defect? Now Wilson's disease is the rare genetic defect which which is inherited as an autosomal recessive disease which occurs due to the mutation in the gene encoding copper binding ATPS that is ATP7B. Due to this mutation, there is an impaired excretion of copper from liver to the bile which results in the accumulation of copper in the liver as well as in the brain. That's why it is also known as the hepatolenticular degeneration. And due to this increased level of copper in the hepatocytes, there is an impaired incorporation of copper into the aposeruloplasmin, which results in the reduced level of ceruloplasmin. So that is the underlying defect. Third question is, what are the characteristic features of this disorder? So the characteristic feature is hepatolenticular degeneration. Symptoms may range from asymptomatic to the liver failure, neurological or psychiatric manifestation like there is a tremor, there is a dystonia, there is a mood swings, there is a psychosis. So these are the various manifestations that can be seen in case of Wilson's disease. What is KF ring? So KF ring is the Kessel Flesher ring which is seen in many conditions including Wilson's disease. It is typical grayish brown yellowish ring which is seen in the desmond membrane of cornea which occurs due to the deposition of copper. And it is the pathognomic feature of Wilson's disease. So that is the KF ring. This is the picture of KF ring. You can see there is a golden brown yellowish ring which is seen in the desmond membrane of the cornea due to deposition of copper. What is sunflower cataract? So sunflower cataract again it is a characteristic finding seen in Wilson's disease. There is an opacification of lens with 
radiating lines which makes the cataract appear like a sunflower. That's why it is known as the sunflower cataract. So you can see there is a radiating lines which is seen in the lens and there is an opacification of lens. That's why it is known as the sunflower cataract. Inter interpret the blood and urinary findings. So as we have seen in the reports, there is an increased level of copper in the blood. There is increased excretion of copper in the urine and there is a reduction of celluloplasmy level. It gives indirect idea that there is an increased level of copper in the Wilson's disease which results in an increased deposition of copper in various tissues including liver and brain. So that is about the interpretation of blood and urinary findings. How should this case be managed? So this case be uh, managed with the help of d penicillamine which is a chelating agent which will help in the chelation of copper as well as it will help in the excretion of copper. We can also give the zinc which will reduce the uptake of copper from the GI tract. So this is the symptomatic management and the person who are not responsive to this medical therapy they can go for the liver transplantation. So this is the management of Wilson's disease. Apart from this finding in the Wilson's disease, there is a one particular sign is seen in the MRI. That is panda face, which is seen in the T2 weighted axial MRI and this is the panda face. This can be seen in the midbrain. So such type of question can also be asked in a, uh, can also be asked as a sporting in various entrance examination. Now we will see one video which shows the characteristic wing beating tremor which is seen in the Wilson's disease. So, wing beating tremor can be elicited by it can be elicited by this is the wing beating tremor. It can be elicited by abduction of arm with flexed elbow, elbow and the arm facing downwards. So this is the characteristic wing beating tremor which is seen in the Wilson's disease. So that is all about Wilson's disease. These are my references. Thank you for watching. Thank you.